Glad you're with us. I'm Mike Brooks. We're going to start off with some very big news on the vaccine front today. Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is now the first of the vaccines to be granted full approval by the FDA. That vaccine had been under an emergency use authorization since it was first administered back in December. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Brady Howblive joins us now with uh, what this means as health officials continue to urge those vaccinations. Brady. Hey, good afternoon, Mike. This is an important milestone in the fight against COVID-19 and health officials believe it is also the key in getting more people vaccinated, especially for those who are on the fence. Now, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, more than 30% of unvaccinated Americans were waiting for full approval from the FDA before they got a shot. Now, those hesitant to get the vaccine can know FDA officials believe it to be safe and effective in preventing COVID-19. Pfizer is also by far the most used vaccine in the U.S. There are 250 4 million people vaccinated with Pfizer, 143 million people vaccinated with Moderna's vaccine, and 14 million with Johnson & Johnson. OU Chief Medical Officer Dr. Dale Bratzer says he hopes the FDA's approval will help sway more people to get vaccinated. Typically, we recommend people stick with the same vaccine, though. Uh, again, I don't know of any serious risk if for some reason you happen to get Moderna versus Pfizer also a lot of talk about booster shots and right now there is no formal guidance from the CDC on when someone should get a third booster shot. However, health experts are expecting an update very soon. Dr. Bratzer tells me OU Health is already planning a large scale vaccination events dedicated to providing booster shots when officials guidance is provided. For now in the studio, Brady Howbleib, 2 News Oklahoma.